Animal Cracker Conspiracy taps into the history of puppetry as a means of conveying political messages under the radar. You have the possibility to comment and say things that humans can't necessarily get away with saying. It's something that's kind of considered maybe for children or not seen as something that could potentially have a dangerous message or political message or social message. And so it's been able to kind of hide in plain sight and comment and do things for centuries. Bridget Roundtree and Ian Gunn are the creative artists behind Animal Cracker Conspiracy, a San Diego-based puppet company. Their latest project, The Society of Wonder, just launched online as part of La Jolla Playhouse's Digital Wow or Without Walls Festival. Gunn describes it as... A mysterious series of five-minute videos that introduce you to five unexpected characters who are brought together through coincidence, serendipity, and happenstance to form a society that reflects or is empowered by their gifts, their uniqueness. It's a production that's arisen out of quarantine and the inability to get exactly what you want when you want it. So the pair made everything from what they had lying around the house. So what we want people to experience is the wonder of what our human imagination is capable of in terms of taking crude and easily accessible materials and turning them into a story, creating a world out of that. A world featuring a gallery of puppet characters. They're carved wooden heads. They have a torso that is suspended, so it can turn, so the shoulders can turn. The hands of the puppets are on rods, so any puppeteer could actually hold all three rods, the central rod, the um, two arm rods in one hand, and manipulate that with manual dexterity. So when we were first developing this film, we did a lot of the shots where I would literally be holding the iPhone in a DJI Osmo mobile to gimbal and puppeteering all with my other hand but description of the puppets they really kind of came out of a kind of comic book ethos carved the heads out of styrofoam and bridget and i paper mache them and she added in texture of vintage newspapers there's actually words and language like embedded into their faces and into their arms The puppets have a retro feel, yet also seem to be from a world very much like our own. So it's an alternate reality, but it relates to a lot of the issues that we're dealing with environmentally, socially, and politically. Definitely with an absurd tone, and that feels very timely right now. Helping to bring this alternate reality to life is Margaret Noble. I list myself as sound designer, but there's many elements to sound design. Sometimes it's composing sounds, sometimes it's recording sounds. Sometimes it's collaging and cutting up sounds. But essentially, it's putting together lots of little tiny pieces to make the world come alive, the visual world. Creating a brave new world through puppets can be liberating. If you're doing live action, realistic sound, you're very focused on being as accurate as possible. But here, there's no boundaries. Any puppet could make any sound. Any world could make any sound. Sound doesn't have to be literal. And often it's more interesting when it isn't and it's symbolic or expressive. And it has a little bit of darkness and mystery. There are multiple mysteries to discover with each episode of The Society of Wonder. So sign up to be wowed by the latest entry in La Jolla Playhouse's Without Walls Festival. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.